In this problem, we have a box that has a mass of 23 kilograms and is resting on the floor. The coefficient of friction between the box and the floor is 0.6. There is a force of 300 newtons applied to the box parallel to the floor. What is the box's acceleration? We will assume that the static friction has been overcome already. The first step of this problem is to draw out a free body diagram of all of the forces. First we have the pull force, which is 300 newtons, and is marked with a yellow arrow. Then we have the normal force due to the box, which is marked with the blue arrow. The normal force is the mass times the gravity. Plugging in our numbers, we get a normal force of 225.63 newtons. In order for the crate not to fall through the floor, there must be an equal and opposite force, which is the normal force from the floor. This is marked with a purple arrow and is the same as the normal force from the box. Finally, we have a force due to kinetic friction, which is the normal force times the coefficient of kinetic friction. We get a force due to kinetic friction of 135.378 newtons. Now to solve this problem, we need to find the net force acting horizontally. So we see that the pull force is being reduced by the force due to kinetic friction. So we can subtract the force due to kinetic friction from the pull force to get the net force. Next, we will divide the net force by the mass of the crate to get the acceleration. Plugging in all of our numbers, we get an acceleration of the crate of 7.16 meters per second per second. That concludes this video. Hope you have earned a like, share, or subscription. If you enjoyed this video, you may enjoy one of these videos as well. Let me know how I'm doing in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.